everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to export your email designs from Figma to MJML code automatically using the Emailify Figma plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the resources icon at the top here, and if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, if you click on the Emailify result, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or you can click on this little save icon here to add it to your saved plugins list. So I've already clicked on that icon, so I'm just gonna to go to my canvas, right click anywhere, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, and then click on Emailify, and that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're brand new to the plugin, the way that it works is it helps you to design emails in Figma, which you can then automatically export to code or various email marketing platforms automatically using the built-in plugin export features. So for today, I'm just gonna be creating a really simple example. So I'm just gonna call this example template test and click on add new emailify container. And that's gonna add a special frame to our Figma file that we can now add components to. So you'll notice that there's a bunch of different uh, starter components in the plugin that you can automatically add. So this just helps it easy to create common uh, blocks, but there are a variety of ways to create new content. So you can use some of the other features down here to add rows and columns and things like that. And there's also some templates. So if you wanna check out some of the pre-built templates, just click on the new button again, go to browse Figma email templates, and you can see there's a whole bunch here that you can duplicate for free from the Figma community. So for example, this Airbnb template, uh, we can open that up here and see what that looks like. So I'll just bring that over to my uh, Figma file here to show you what that looks like. And the important thing to notice, especially if you're focusing on MJML, is that these layers map one-to-one -one with the MJML structure. So what I mean by that is if we go to the MJML site, so go to mjml.io, and then if we go to the documentation part of the website and go down to some of the components, you can see that the components in MJML are one-to-one -one with the components in your Emailify designs. So what that means is you can see here, we've got rows, we've got columns, we've got elements, uh, we've got button elements. So you can see down here, we've got a button, we've got a spacer, we've got a divider, we've got a text layer, and all of these are mapping up to the MJML components in here. So you can see we've got our columns, we've got our divider, we've got our spacer, we've got our text layer, so all of these are basically mapped to MJML. And this is really important because it's gonna show uh, what that's gonna look like when it exports to code in a moment. So as I said, you can see here, we've got the same structure. So we've got a section, which is basically a row, we've got a column, and then inside that column are our content layers. So same in here, we've got our rows, we've got our columns, and we've got our content layers directly inside the columns. And same thing for multiple columns, we've got a row, column, column, and content inside of those columns. And you can see here when I click on a column, this gives you the option to add these elements to any of those column layers. So I can add these navigation links in here, and that's gonna map to these navbar links over here. So again, this is a really direct mapping to MJML, and that's gonna be important to know once we export this out. So now that we've got our template, you can preview it by clicking on the preview button in the plugin at any time. And this is gonna automatically render a real preview of the code in your plugin window before we export it. So you can see what it looks like on desktop, and then we can go down to mobile and check that out as well. And you can also override some of the styles on mobile too. So if you click on any of your layers and click on the settings button, that's gonna automatically give you a bunch of different options to apply mobile overrides. So for example, overriding text sizes, overriding image styles, uh, all sorts of things like that, padding, uh, border radius, all these different overrides that you can do. So I'd encourage you to check those out. And again, I'm not gonna be going into all of the details about how to design the emails in this uh, video, but if you're interested in that, I'd highly recommend checking out some of the other videos on the YouTube channel or going to our documentation site uh, on docs.hypermatic.com. So if you go to docs.hypermatic.com slash emailify and you click on the start here button, this will let you go through all of the documentation and you can see exactly how to create all of the elements and style them and add things like links, dynamic content. Uh, everything you'd basically wanna know is all found in the documentation site. So again, I'd highly recommend checking that out and also checking out some of the other video tutorials for more of the design content. Um, but basically once you've got your design ready to go in Figma and you're happy with how it looks in the Emailify preview, 
To export it to MJML, all we need to do is click on the export HTML button in the plugin. So I'm going to click on that now. And you can see by default, it's set to export an HTML email, but we're going to change this to MJML source code. So just go ahead and click on the MJML source code underneath the download to your computer uh, subcategory. Click on that and you can see the little logos change to be the MJML logo. So that's looking really good. And we only want to export this one template today. So I'm just going to click on this one here. And the last thing I'm going to do is upload the image URLs as well. So this means that it's going to automatically host the images. So we can just copy paste the code and those images are already going to be hosted for us. So I'm going to check that. And for this example, I'm just going to turn off the minification of the HTML just to make it a bit more readable. Normally I would leave that on because I want the code to be as small as possible, but this is basically just going to nest the code in a nicer way so we can read it more easily. So I'm going to turn that off for now. Again, I'd normally leave that on, but just to show you what it looks like, I'm going to turn that off and then click on export to MJML. So I've just clicked that button. That's going to now generate all of the MJML code for us. It's going to export all the images, upload those, and then give us a zip file we can download. So the code's now ready. I'm going to click on the download your zip file button, save that to my computer. And if you unzip your zip file and then open up the folder, you will see this content here. So you can see that we've got our emailify template and that's looking really good. So we've got our MJML file. We've got our index.html file, which is the compiled version of that MJML file. And we've got our images folder if we need those later as well. So just to show you what this looks like, if we go to the MJML website and click on the try it live link, so that'll open up this editor over here. And this basically lets us paste in or write MJML code, and that will automatically compile it to HTML. So that's what MJML does. It takes this source code, transforms it and compiles it, into this production ready HTML. So we're gonna have a look at that now for our own code. So I'm just gonna paste this in here. If we go back to our folder, find your MJML file and just drag and drop that in here. And then we can copy all of that MJML source code, paste it into the MJML code editor, paste that in. And you can see here on the right, we've got our email uh, as we'd expect. So that's looking really good. You can see all of the codes being rendered as HTML. And you can see on the left-hand side here, all of the MJML codes been exported. So we've got our sections, we've got our columns, we've got our text, and these are all correlating to what we had a look at in the documentation a moment ago. So you can see here, we've got our section, column, text, and that's exactly what we can see in our code over here. We've got sections, columns, and text, and all of the properties are automatically being populated from our styles that we set in Figma. So this is all automatic. You don't need to code anything. It's automatically gonna generate the MJML for you. And with that one click, you've basically got all of that code written for you. So that's looking really good. Uh, again, we can check out the compiled HTML. So MJML is gonna compile all this for us. And again, this is basically just an example of what it looks like. You wouldn't necessarily use this email editor in the MJML website to compile your code. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. So if you go to the usage panel in the documentation site, uh, the, the quickest way is to use the online editor, which we were just in a moment ago over here. But what you really wanna do is check out some of these other methods. So you might use the Visual Studio Code plugin, uh, one of these other text editor plugins, or using a command line tool like Node.js or just a command line prompt. So you can basically create a command line interface that you can run commands in to compile the code. Um, but again, it's really up to you. There's also some other platforms like Loops. Uh, so loops.so, uh, they use MJML natively. So if you are creating your emails on Loops, you can just upload your MJML file and that will automatically work. And there's a bunch of other platforms that use MJML too. But really the point of MJML is it's a developer friendly uh, markup or syntax that can then be edited uh, really easily. And you can then make those changes uh, without having to tweak all of the actual compiled HTML. So for example, if we go into here and we wanted to change uh, this heading up here, so where we've got level up your checkout, we could easily change that text. So we could call this, uh, you know, new heading here, and that's gonna automatically update the compiled HTML. So again, if you're using MJML, you probably know why you're using it. So I'm not gonna go through uh, all of the uh, ins and outs of what MJML is and how to use it, 
But if you are needing the MJML format for your development team or for the platform you're working with, this is a really easy way to export it from Figma if you've designed your emails using the Emailify plugin. So again, this won't work if you've already pre-designed your emails before using the plugin. You will need to use the plugin's design tools to help you create that layout, uh, again, to match the expected MJML uh, formatting. But once you've done that, and you can see here, there's a bunch of different uh, options. The design flexibility is really high. Uh, you can basically create whatever you want, whatever you could design with MJML itself, you can create using Emailify, and that's gonna generate the production ready MJML code for you to use however you like. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. If you're wanting to generate MJML code uh, from Figma, this is gonna be a really easy way to go about it with a one-click export. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.